Hello folks, another night of imaging. We've had a run of clear skies, but it's gonna end now because we're expecting rain in the morning. So I'm gonna have to take my telescopes in, but I have a new strategy now. Light pollution is still pretty nasty for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have only one scope doing broadband during galaxy season. And I'm gonna have another scope doing narrow band that fights against the light pollution. Now, since I've already tackled quite a few galaxies in the past with my bigger scope, I'm actually going to try some wide field views with the Rasa now. So I'm going to leave this one on broadband and the Explorer Scientific will stay on narrowband, which is my comfort zone. I've had a lot of good success using the scope with narrowband. So we'll see how things turn out this season. Okay, so I've captured a lot of objects and this first one I want to show you is probably instantly recognizable to a lot of people. It's the Crab Nebula. And I captured it with my Explorer Scientific Telescope in narrowband. This is a really fun target to capture because it's bright in just about any filter I want to use. And this is a giant supernova explosion that was actually seen during the daytime hours in the year 1054. And you know, a lot of people make the, the mistake that, oh, that's when it exploded. But because it's over 6,000 light years away, it actually exploded thousands of years before those people even saw it in 1054. But it, it's, a, it's a really fun target, and I'm glad I captured it. Uh, I've done it before, but it's, it's always fun to capture big, bright, and easy targets to process. So let me, let me show you my, my next picture here. So this next one is the Sombrero Galaxy. I've captured it before with more powerful telescopes, but I was curious to see how it looked in wide field. And it's really interesting to see this. It's a, it's a galaxy all by its lonesome self, but uh, I, I thought it looked pretty cool in this wide field view. And if I crop around and, and move it forward, I actually really like this crop. I might even submit this for for a NASA APOD, Astronomy Picture of the Day. You never know, you might get lucky because I've got the galaxy on this side, bright Milky Way stars on this side. I, I just think that's a cool view. So I'm really happy with how this one came out. Okay, I'm back to my Explorer Scientific Telescope again, and you might've seen me post this online already, but it's the Owl Nebula, and I captured it when the moon was full, and it's a really cool object. It's a planetary nebula, and you can see the central star there causing all this nebulosity. This is a really fun target to capture while the moon is full, and it's, it's high in the north, really easy to capture. It's still out if you want to capture it now. So uh, I'd go for it if you haven't captured it already. And uh, let me show you the next object. Okay, I am back to my Rasa telescope capturing in broadband, and this was not an easy target. I had gradients coming out of my ears because of the light pollution. It, it, it was tough to try and fix the background in this, but I think I came out of this okay. It's a really cool target. And I think this is probably the first time I ever captured all three of these galaxies in one shot. I had captured them individually a long time ago. And this galaxy up here is the Hamburger Galaxy. I, I didn't quite get that. It has a faint tail going off the, the side. I can only see a small trace of it here, but it is there. I, I didn't want to doctor up the image too much and try and fake it to make that bright, bright, but... Um, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. I'm, I'm, I can mark it off on my, my bucket list. I finally got the, the Leo triplet in one shot. So four objects so far. Uh, and this time around, I, I've been pretty productive this year. So uh, uh, I'm going to keep going. But uh, we, we've got some clouds coming now. So I don't know what's going to happen uh, in the near future. But we'll see. That's all I got, folks. Thanks for watching. And I will see you later. Mm -hmm.